welcome to divine bow beginnings 93 this is going to be our element video and the element is going to be for fire signs which is aries if you're aries you're born between march 21st and april 19th leos if you're a leo you're born between july 23rd and august 22nd and then sagittarius if you're a sagittarius you're born between november 22nd and december 21st we're gonna get movement we're gonna see what's going on we're gonna get love reading and then I'm gonna pull from angel answers and whatever answer is in your I mean whatever question is in your head that's gonna be the um, message and answer from the angel answers deck this is my first time doing this spread I hope you guys enjoy it don't mind my paper I just have a few notes written down of how I want to um, actually do this and go about it just the you know the actual month and days but that's for me not for you guys so <laughs> let's get started and a card already wants to fall out that was perfect huh and that card will be for Aries so give me one moment to pick that up Knight of Swords is for Aries. Okay, and let's keep going. Let's get a card for the Leos. What movement is going on? And then I'll go back and then I'll um, actually clarify just so I have enough time to meditate on what vibes I'm picking up from the cards. We're going to get a Leo card now. And this is the Vice Versa Tarot deck. Eight of Cups. And this is the other side. This is the side that fell out. And then the last one will be for Sagittarius. The Knight of Swords. And then everything that's topping off and overall in this deck. I hope everyone can see those cards. I'm going to check. Yes, you can. So the thing that's overall for everyone is basically hard working. That's the eight of pentacles. I'm just gonna get rid of this deck somewhere. Okay. So Aries. The Knight of Swords. What are you fighting for right now? Well, what are you thinking about fighting about? Let me say that. This person have a lot of anguish on their face. This person is more of... Are you being defensive? Maybe you're defensive about a work situation. Are you fighting a legal battle? That's definitely what I'm getting from this. I definitely feel like it's a, maybe a work situation that you're definitely fighting about. Not so much fighting, but you're more on the cusp of someone did you wrong. And now you at that you at this like standoffish attitude one thing I would say about this Aries is when this when the swords come in this is you 
not working off emotion, just anger. Like, this is just a mental, a mental thing. Maybe someone hurt you mentally. I'm getting a few scenarios. I'm, got, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I do have my heating system on. So if you hear that, that's all. Sorry. It is kind of chilly where I'm at. I think this is a more mental card for you guys. Maybe someone got a job that you were supposed to get promoted for. Unless you're dealing with an, an air sign. Either Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And they, the one has done you wrong or they're your boss. It's more of you're not getting you're not getting what you deserve at this moment. I'm gonna go into my next deck. We're just gonna elaborate on this. For some reason I don't like the way this, this feeling is going. Someone's not seeing the big picture. It's something definitely with the Eight of Cups here. The, uh, I'm sorry. The Eight of Pentacles is something you worked hard for. Something you're working hard for. Maybe this is you getting the courage to get what you deserve because you're working hard for it. Maybe you're looking for a promotion. Your energy is not bad at all. But whatever it is, you're in your head about it. These two want to come out. You're crying over spilled milk. It's a codependency there. But the great thing about this is your outcome card, which is the fool. So you're going to take a leap of faith into something. It could be into someone. I just feel it's, it's very mental. And it, when I said someone, this is at the bottom of the deck. So it, be, could, it could be into a love relationship with someone. Maybe right now you're getting your finances together to come into a relationship. But whatever it was, is maybe you didn't get a fair chance. Maybe this is you having a second chance. Whatever you were doing in the beginning, it had to do with the devil energy, which is like a codependency it could have been sex, drugs, or it just could have been you were so codependent, which we were so like clingy to someone. That could that could definitely be it. And they walked away from you. Because as I look at it, I'm looking at this five of cups where you see these cups are knocked over. And you have two cups in the back, but you're not paying attention to those two cups. So maybe you were in, I don't have the third party relationship out here, but maybe you were in a third party and the person that you originally were with, the way you got out of that relationship wasn't the particular way that you thought you should have got out of that relationship to go to this other person, which is your two of cups because... It's like you're more dwelling on the way you hurt someone else. But you were working hard to end it. 
in a nice in a kind of like a nice way maybe you had a tower moment that came down and everything was just thrown on the like thrown out on the floor and it was just you had to pick up the pieces maybe this other person found out about it or maybe you're trying to get out of a clingy karmic relationship right now you're gonna have to take that leap of faith if you want something better because this is better This is something that's really much better for you. And remember, this is a general message. It's not specific for a specific person for your situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So that's just an overview of it. Let's go in deeper. Okay, that wasn't a good idea to put that up there. I know that. <laughs> Don't judge me. We're going to get one card for the males, one card for the females. Just so we can separate the two. First card is for the males. So the males, you're dealing with this codependency, devil energy, third party. Could be a drug addiction too. Let's see for the females, Aries. We're going to get one card for you. Okay, so. This is definitely two different energies right now. Um, the female Aries. Are you waiting for someone to come in to you? Or are you waiting on a job offer? Something that you worked hard for? Well, it's definitely going to come to you. Male Aries, it's not such a bad thing to have the devil card. It's just something that you're getting over right now. Maybe you were the cause of this. Or maybe that air sign was the cause of it. But one thing I definitely want to say about this is you're working hard to get over this devil energy, whatever it is for you. You're definitely working hard to get over it. And I want to commend everyone in this situation because either way it go, you're doing what's best for you. We're going to go into another deck. We're going to go into the romance deck. Just to see what's going on. This video will be a little long. So, I hope y'all sitting with me. For the male Aquarius. Let's see what's going on in your love life. So, two cards fell out. The first card is attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Maybe you're going out, maybe you're partying. But on the other side of that, you have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And then for the female Aries, let's go into your love. reconciliation so you're waiting for someone to come in you're waiting that's this knight of pentacles this person is getting themselves together a few more came out for you we have romantic feelings as well as worth waiting for just move it back a little bit you guys so you can see that okay there we go and we're going to get a few messages for maybe someone you're thinking about or for someone that's thinking about you. Okay. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. 
trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Twin flame. Okay, romance. And then we're going to get um, a few messages for the males. Embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. So I think that definitely the first part of that message was for the male part, a third party situation. And then the next card you have is only time will tell. And then we're going to get one more. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. That was a pretty nice one, you guys. I actually like that a lot. And I think it kind of breaks it up into two instead of just being one general message. This video is going to be a lot longer because we have two more um, zodiacs to go through but I hope this resonated with you Aries and I hope everything works out basically in your favor just continue to work hard because that's what you're doing right now and just be great there's only one you stay true to yourself and let's go into the next group That was for you, Aries. We're going to move into, I want to say Leo right now. Okay, let me just put this right here. Because I want to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Yes, Leo. I'm just going to move these two. So, Leo, you ate a cup with the Eight of Pentacles. Two eights here. Which equals 16, which equals out to the number seven. So Leos, my question to you is, did you walk away from something? Something that you worked hard to keep? Something that you... I seen the lovers when I opened it, so... Is it a love relationship that you walked away from that you were in need of trying to fix and the other person just wasn't working with you? They were kind of like working against you. And let's go into it and see what's going on. I feel like you're walking away. If it was this card, you would be pondering on walking away on what you had but i feel like the situation it just all that work that you were trying to put in it just wasn't for you as much as you wanted to not particularly keep the situation but you wanted to end it on even grounds and just go for something that was worth trying the High Priestess. Things came to the light. Maybe someone was deceiving you. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm gonna, eventually, I'll get this little setup together. But maybe someone was deceiving you. And it came out. Everything you thought you were doing, they were like kind of, I'm getting like they were destroying it. It was more of, they were, they were kind of like in a relationship with someone else, waiting for someone else to come through for them, not you. And you found out. You were working hard. And it, I, I feel like this situation, even though it went the way it did, because now we have the Nine of Cups, I feel like both of you had a third party situation, which is kind of... A different feeling. I never got that feeling before. But both of you had a third party situation. 
you had someone else and they had someone else. You... It's like both of the here you go. Both of the situations are playing out right here. You felt left out in the cold with this person that maybe you knew from your past. Maybe you knew before, maybe you all you all was in a relationship. But this other person that you met, they made you feel like a king. And you're gonna go into this new beginning as that. You're ready to offer your cup of love. You were disconnected with love with this other person. Not the new person, but this other person. Whoever this person was, they were like manipulative. They were holding you kind of, I don't want to say hostage, but they were kind of holding your emotional your emotional state hostage. And it wasn't that they wanted you, it was just that you were a benefit. You were beneficial to them. You definitely were beneficial. But going through this situation, you're the king of swords and now you're the king of pentacles. You're getting your finances together as well as your mental state. Because you had to go through a lot. You have the eight of pentacles. We, I'm going to still keep referring back to the eight of pentacles because this is something that you were working hard on. It could be you were working hard at a job. Because that was your way of separating from what was going on in your home life at work. It was like you were more you at work. We're going to get one outcome card. It looks like you're getting your, your stuff together though. Yes, you are. You're seeing things, two cards popped out. You're seeing things in a hangman situation. You're looking at, it is an out to this situation. And the out is with the other person that you're thinking about. You worked hard to get this Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles is what you were trying to work to get up. Maybe your finances so you can move on. Because when you were with this person, they were just holding you back. The Five of Pentacles. They made you feel like you were crap. You were left out in the cold. I'm just getting like a... They basically abandoned you. They didn't care about you at all. I mean, maybe once upon a time they did. But as things start to progress, this person, it was like they really didn't want to be with you anymore. If that, if that resonates with someone. I hope so. Um, okay. I'm going to do the same thing I did for the last one. And then at the bottom of the deck, Leo, I seen the judgment card. So this situation, it you had to surrender to it to get through it. It wasn't easy by far. But it was wor it's going to be worth it in the end. We're going to get one for the male, one card for the male, and then we're going to get one for the female. So the first card we're going to be pulling is for the male. Okay. So a few cards came out for the male. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. And we have the Ace of Cups. So, definitely what was going on were someone was trying to offer you a cup of love. But you were turning it down because you were looking at this other situation. Which is, this is why you have now, you have the Wheel of Fortune. It's basically, things are starting to work in your favor for you to come to love. For you to come to wishes being fulfilled. Here we go. Ace of Cups. So you were probably the one that was going through that third party. But the situation cleared itself up. The situation is clearing itself up. 
every day. Let's see for the females. What can we get? Okay. So someone's over here. And it's it's more of you're kind of penny pinching on your money. And that could be why you're working so hard at work. Which is great. Because for the females, here we go. We got the Nine of Pentacles. So you're sitting glorious in what you're doing. Like, this is who you are. This is what you're capable of doing. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have Celebration. We have two cards for the Celebration. I don't feel like that's a third-party situation, but it could have been where you walked away from a third-party situation, and now you're thriving more than ever. So I feel like that's a perfect card for you. So that that scenario could have been for both of you. But also you have celebration. So everyone has celebration. Yeah, here we go, Leo. Reconciliation. So what's going on is that situation where the other person didn't too much. They did not too much care for you. They didn't too much value you you're walking away you ate a cups in that behind you said bye bye you're not for me anymore I'm taking off into my own light because this other person values who I am and not only do they value who I am but this feels so right this person is for me let's get a card for you Lady Leo's Okay, so Leo, Lady Leo, playfulness, you have playfulness, and on top of being playful, you have a let go of control issues, and the last card that's at the bottom of the deck, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, this could be both of you guys, male and female mind state, but don't not saying don't believe it, but believe in what you feel in your heart and your intuition. Your intuition is not going to lie to you. Okay, and then we're going to get a few messages for you. We're going to do the um, angel answers at the end, just so it's not too crowded on the table for that message. Give thanks for blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. That's for you guys. When you pass from the world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. We're going to get one more for the guys. It is, in, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing, placing your focus on another. Now it's time to give to yourself. Self-love is beautiful. And let's do the females. Let's see what's going on. Some messages for you females. Okay. Got two that really want to come out. All right, we got balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is a great healer. And then the last one, friendships. Nurture the bonds of friendships within your relationship, and your love life will dramatically improve. These energies, I just feel so lifted once you ate a cups. This energy is just like uplifting. It's beautiful though. 
It's very beautiful. Okay, let's go on to the Sagittarius. I hope that resonated with you guys. If it didn't, if it's meant for someone. And I hope the person who needs to hear it, hears it. I'm going to just scoop that up, you guys. Okay, let's see. Put this over here. Okay. I'm doing a lot of reaching today. My arms must want to grow. So, Sagittarius. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Wands. like there's a situation that no longer serves you. I mean, not wands, swords. I'm so sorry, you guys. Let me take that back. This is the page of swords. This is the knight of swords. I'm sorry. I'm just getting versed with the cards to the vice versa deck. Apologize for that. This is the night. So, what's going on is with the Sagittarius? If it was this way, you would be in battle. You'll be confronting battle, but you've gotten through the storm. I mean, I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bag up, bag up. This would be you coming out of the storm. This would be you just now going into the storm. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm so anxious. Just to like, not to get through the reading, but just to tell the stories because it just, I don't know, it gives me energy. I'm hot. And I'm not hot because of the heater. But um, this could be a work situation where now you're actually weathering through the storm. You're walking through it. It's like you got a few more steps and you'll be on the outside of it unscathed unhurt um and at the bottom of this deck i just seen it the sun so your messages want to come out right away stability four four bones nine of pentacles It's like what I'm getting is like you're open the you're opening the door to this new beginning through this chaos that you're going through. I don't know, I just felt a little lightheaded. It's, it's like, I'm feeling like whew, it's over with. Like, it, it took your head for a world spin. That's your outcome. The Ace of Cups. Boom. So you're working hard. It definitely could be a job. I'm, I'm definitely getting a job. If it's not job, it's love. And look at the bottom of the deck. You got the world card. So, you're going into new cycles through this battle, through this storm of energy. Most of it was conflict on yourself, though. I'm definitely feeling like you were in your head about it. It was, it, it's other people too, but it was more of. You just not have the answers to the questions that you were asking. And by you not having those answers, it was it was just a battlefield. It was just like 
you didn't know which way to go. You felt uneasy about things. It could have been every time that you came up to the situation, you were just stuck. This card popped out. Commitment, higher commitment. So this definitely could be a job offer. This definitely could be a promotion. If it's about relationships, your relationship is going to higher commitment. Yeah. So for someone, it's about the lovers. It's definitely about the lovers. It could be someone that's an air sign in your, because that's an air sign card. It's a Gemini card. It could be someone in your family that you're thinking about. Okay, let's go into it. Let's just go into it. Let's get a card for the males, and then let's get a card for the females. The first card we're going to pull out is for the males. To see if, it, you know, that was about you. Or just to get an overview of what's going on with you. Okay, so males. You working on the King of Pentacles. You're getting your finances together. You're getting your... You're trying to stabilize yourself as far as, I don't know, I, I call it hush money. Like, you got money set aside for a rainy day. But, through this growth, because maybe before you didn't have this. You got the king of wands. It's like you're weighing up things. Maybe you weighing up thinking about a new house. Thinking about marriage. Let's get the outcome for you and your story. But maybe you weighing up how much you want to spend, how much you want to put out there. You're definitely working hard, but you're not moving yet. You're stuck. You're waiting on something. Maybe you're waiting on this money to come in to you. You already sown your seeds. You're just waiting. Let's get something. Okay. So it's a love offer, basically. You're waiting on this person. Maybe to get their self together. You got strength to wait. There we go. The King of Cups. So it's an emotional it's an emotional fulfillment. More of like on the love side. So maybe the lovers were for you. And the higher commitment. Because that's what you're waiting on. Yeah. That's, that's definitely what you're waiting on. Let's see for you Sagittarius. So right now. You could be possibly going through or getting done with a tower moment, which brings in communication for you. Communication could be to this job. It could be about love because we did have the lovers. Let's see. Let's keep going. Yeah. Definitely. It's about a job. We have the emperor. Judgment. You're going to go into retreat. You could be going into retreat now. But it's a direction you need to pick. And which way you're going to go. This, this beginning... Is for both. And we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So, here we go. I can keep going. We got the fool. And then, here we go. Conflict in your own head. Because you don't know what's really going on. Everything is being done behind the scenes. For both. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see love for both. Letting go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So that's what you're waiting on. You're waiting on that love. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. 
And we're gonna get a few messages. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Aww. So this person loves you just as much as you love them. So deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay now, Sag. Sagittarius men, let me say that. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through term oil, a blessing will soon be revealed. I feel a pregnancy. A pregnancy could be coming. Someone definitely could be pregnant. I don't know why I feel that so strong. Let's see for the Sagittarius women. We got time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay, give it time to unfold. You don't want something that's quick. You want something that lasts forever. Surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Okay, we're going to put this one. And then we got another one. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's see. So it says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love, conquer, and transform all things. And then in the middle for both, we got new beginnings. A new venture awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That is beautiful. That was beautiful for everyone. And I want to just say it was beautiful for one. It was beautiful for everyone. I think this new this new moon in Aries is really lighting up things in everyone's life. It's beautiful. Not saying the other moons didn't do the same, but it's definitely doing a great job. Okay. So we're definitely done with those. We go on to the last deck. angel answer so make sure you still have that question in your head that we started off with or if it's changed let it change just hold on to it and have that be the only thing that's on your mind right now and we're gonna get answers so for Aries we're gonna get an answer card for you So, we have two cards. We have abundance, and it's up to you. Two cards for you. There you go. For Leos, okay, two as well. Look for the sign and trust. And then for Sagittarius, let's get some cards for you. Opportunity, and there's something better. I hope everyone loved the reading, but we're not done just yet because I have another deck out. I have the golden tarot out, and we're just gonna get one card for each, and then this will be ended. If you haven't 
giving this video a thumbs up or if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so we have celebration and planning someone is planning and celebrating right now for Leo let's get two cards for you we have the two of cups and the king of swords You're putting your mark on the world. You're going to find, you're going to get your true love because you already know who this person is. And I'm sorry, this is the, I want to say this is the king, the king of wands with celebration. But it's still the same message either way you go. And then let's get to for Sagittarius. And this video will be ended. So you're definitely seven of swords. It's more of you taking what's yours. And you you're leaving behind negativity. And you're going in retreat. The four of swords. So you have a lot of air signs. And then at the bottom of the deck for everyone, we have the king of swords and we have the death card so this is new beginnings coming for everyone i hope you enjoyed your reading if you want to leave a comment please leave a comment and have a great day